Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get here with the truth. So today, just doing a quick recap from the ESPN card that took place on uh, Saturday morning of last weekend, July 2nd, that saw um, a surprise upset in the cruiserweight division and a brand new king at 200 pounds cruiserweight when Jai Opatai, undefeated contender, defeated um, defeated Maris Bradis, the man who was and handed Bradis only the second loss of his career. Um, Bradis' previous defeat was to Alexander Usyk, and uh, he hadn't lost a fight since. And he uh, he went in there, number one cruiserweight in the world, the reigning champ, and he got defeated by Opatai by a clean unanimous decision. And we have a new king at cruiserweight, so that that was a. Uh, that's a big deal, you know. If you're not a big, a big fan of the cruiserweight division, I, I somewhat understand because none of those guys stand out because it's a lot of uh, European fighters and from uh, other places. We never really have a big American standout, but the cruiserweight division is a lot of fun. It's very, uh, very interesting. Um, years ago, Usyk, the, the the reason why he got into the mix of being the heavyweight champion and beating Anthony Joshua was because he won the World Boxing Super Series um, season one and his toughest fight still to this day even over the Joshua fight was his showdown with Maris Bredis in the semifinal of season one where he went to Latvia, Bredis' home country and scored a hard fought um, majority decision I believe and you know unified belts and Bredis ever since then Outside of his quarterfinal controversial decision win over Noel Gabor, which he should have lost, um, you know, he defeated Christoph Mowatchki, knocked him out controversially, but he got him, but, it, but he defeated Junior Dorticos in the finals of season two and became the top guy in the cruiserweight division. So for Opatai to come out and unseed the number one fighter at cruiserweight was a big deal. So big time win for Opatai. Uh, we'll, we'll discuss a what's next probably uh, next week, but I just wanted to throw that out there and let everybody know that we got a new face in the cruiserweight division at 200, and uh, that was a big time upset. So we'll see what happens, but that was it. That's the recap from the ESPN card from July 2nd that saw Jai Opatai upset Maris Bredis to become the IBF cruiserweight champion of the world at 200 pounds. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate any and all support. And this is True Boxing. You've been here with the truth.